Hey everyone, it's Jordan Faith. Here on my channel, I do all things Curly Girl Method. I love testing new products and techniques and sharing what I learn with all of you. So if you want to learn along with me, please subscribe. I upload a new video every Thursday. Today I tried the bowl method, which is just using a big bowl from your kitchen while you're applying your leave-in and styling products to catch any water or product that might have otherwise fallen onto your bathtub floor or your shower floor. It's not complicated and it's easier to explain while you're watching it be done. So we're gonna go through my whole wash day and we'll head to my shower now to get started. Here we are in my shower. I am just going to get my hair wet. And then go in with the Johnson's head to toe wash and shampoo, about that much. And this is a very, very gentle low poo. Uh, they changed the formula. I'm not sure exactly when, but whenever they change their packaging, it seems that's when they change their formula. So I think almost all, if not all, of the Johnson's baby shampoos are now low poos. And this one especially is very light and gentle. So I use this when I just need a really, really gentle cleanse. Then I'm going to rinse that out and take the Curl Talk 3-in-1 conditioner by Not Your Mothers, a generous amount, and just work that through and finger detangle my hair as I go. I'm going through postpartum hair loss right now. So I am struggling with tangles in the shower because as the hair falls out, it tangles around the other strands and I have to kind of squish things up and make sure I'm going from the bottom to get those tangles out gently. Then I'm going to flip my head over, brush that through, then clip it and move on to using the bowl to rinse that out. So I have a little water in the bowl and I'm just going to dip my hair into it and squish and squish and squish that conditioner around in my hair so that it's thoroughly hydrated and I'm going to rinse most of it out. It is a three-in-one so it can also be used as a leave-in so I'm going to leave just a little bit in to keep my clumps together and nice and hydrated. Now my hair doesn't need a lot of hydration. It's not naturally dry. So I was a little worried about this method and I do think it was a little too much hydration for my hair. It felt a little too moisturized and it was a little stretched out but it was fun to try and I learned a lot So I'm just going to flip my hair side to side as I squish, just making sure I get everything rinsed off of my scalp. And squishing and squishing, helping my curl clumps come together nicely. I will say one thing, you might want to warm up and stretch before you do this if you're not used to being turned upside down because holy cannoli, my legs were tired. I could have rinsed the conditioner out in the shower. That probably would have been a better idea, but I had heard that this method would work well for squishing to condition, so I wanted to give that a go. 
and it, it did work well. I enjoyed it. Now I'm just going to run the wet brush through the front of my hair to help gather any stray hairs together and keep my clumps nice and smooth. Just continuing to redunk in the water and squish. And I forgot to show the bowl again, but the water starts to look kind of milky from the conditioner mixing with the water. And so as you redunk, you're reapplying that product to your hair so you're not wasting it and having to use more. Then I'm going to take the Eco Style Argan Oil Gel and apply that by glazing and praying hands and then scrunching. Now I usually don't apply my gels to soaking wet hair just because I find that it dilutes the gel a little bit too much for me. but I wanted to try it out at least just to see how it works. You never know what works for you until you give it a shot. So that's why I like testing different things out and I like to share it with you so that you can learn with me. It's really important to turn your head side to side like that so that your clumps don't get stuck to the back of your head. I learned some of these styling techniques from Swaby Curly Courtney. She is one of my favorite YouTubers. And I learned about the bowl technique from Power Dami on Instagram. So I just re-wet my hair and continue to squish in the gel. And now I'm just going to squeeze out some extra water so that it's not soaking, soaking wet anymore. And I think if I tried this again, I would probably then add a little bit more gel at this point, just to have a little bit stronger hold. But I did think my clumps were looking pretty nice. Gonna make sure everything is thoroughly scrunched in. Scrunching really, really helps to encourage my loose curl pattern to curl up. And then I'm going to wet plop because that's what Dominique suggests you do in her original video. I'm gonna do that for about five to 10 minutes. Then I'm going to take it out and I'm going to micro plop with my t-shirt. And this is just a way to squeeze out some of the extra water before you air dry or diffuse. And I do this in all different directions too, just to make sure my curl clumps are situated all the way around. You just want to make sure you're moving to a dry part of the t-shirt, obviously, to dry a different section. And if you have a wonky section, you can go back in with the wet section of t-shirt and squish again, and sometimes that will help bring it back together and not be so wonky. 
Those are my clumps and I'm going to diffuse for about 15 minutes and then air dry the rest of the way. Okay, now my hair is 100% dry and I don't really have any crunch to scrunch out, but I am still going to do a quick scrunch and fluff my roots because it is gonna make a difference. So I'm just gonna do a nice scrunch and a good root fluff. And I just wanted to mention that I'm not running my fingers through my hair here. I'm putting them straight in at the roots, giving it a little shake and then pulling them straight out. This helps loosen things up and give a little more volume. So these are the results. I think it turned out nicely. I got some good clumping but I didn't get very much of a cast because of how watered down the gel became. So I really like this method for squishing to condition. It's really helpful for that and for getting good clumps. But for me, at least while using this gel, it watered it down a little bit more than I like because I didn't get that strong, strong hold that my loose curl pattern really needs to not become stretched out from all that water and hydration. I have a little bit of frizz, which could be from the gel being diluted with water, like I said, which didn't give as strong of a hold. But it's not the end of the world to have a little frizz. And I think my hair is nice and light and bouncy, and I'm pretty happy with it overall. This method was really fun to try out. I think I might try to incorporate the bowl into my normal routine, just so it's easier for me to squish to condition without wasting water or product. I just thought it was a really good way to get to do a really, really good thorough squish to condition. But I have a tiny bathroom and a tiny memory, so I'm not sure where I can keep the bowl in my bathroom or how I'll remember to bring the bowl with me when it's time to wash my hair. If this is something you do in your routine, please let me know what you do with your bowl, how you remember to take it with you, or where you store it. Please tell me in the comments what you thought of my results and let me know if there's any other technique you'd like to see me try out. I would love to accommodate that for you. Like this video if you liked it, subscribe to my channel if you wanna see more of my content, and hit the notification bell so you'll know every time I upload. I'll see you next time.